Hello everyone, welcome to my channel ASP.NET Core and today I am going to show you uh, MAUI command and MAUI command parameters. So uh, for do this, uh, take an example of MAUI command in MVVM pattern. So first of all add a new page in the view section first of all. So MAUI content page, uh, just I am uh, just, just uh, tell you about uh, .NET MAUI content page uh, in the XAML format so just add a command example the name is the command example okay so uh, in this uh, section you just take, can take stack layout and the stack layout you just can take uh, button control and the horizontal option is center and the vertical option is also center and in which you can take button control and the button uh, have a command and that command is binding with the click me okay so binding I mean to say that bind with the data or you can say that the uh, uh, binding context so click me is a property name in the view model so just can add a new view model right here and the view model name is the command view model command view model okay so here you can take public and the property name is the click me and also you can use i command and the command name is the click me so the type of the click me is the type of i command okay now you have to take a new parameter as a method stub in the new command generate a method stub that is click event the name of the method is click event generate a method click event okay now after that you can do uh, that is the you can just use app dot current dot man page dot display alert hi with the obj here you can say that it is a par uh, parameter in the command but uh, in this session only just take a string instead of the parameter in the command the next uh, after few seconds i will display i will tell you about uh, parameter uh, command parameters so when we click on the button control then display a message okay now the view page is uh, actually bind with the binding context so binding context equals to new command view model okay so So you can say uh, binding context equals to new command view model. Okay, so everything is good now. The next thing is to it is a, uh, actually in uh, just set the first page in a app dot file that is the command example. Okay, so everything is good now. Just run your Windows machine and you will see the output on MAUI command and command parameters.
wait for some time so I will show you uh, the results and you will see that when we click on the button control and uh, that uh, a pop-up will be appear with the high message you can see that uh, button with without any text so uh, when we click on it then you will see that high message click event handling so first of all key uh, the text uh, to the button control that is the text property of the button control uh, simply you can set click okay now you can see that click will appear on your button control okay now that is the uh, command example in uh, maui and just i want to take a entry control and when we uh, put any text in the entry control then display on the pop-up by using the command so the text property is bind with the any text and that text property will set in the view model as a property as a public property and initialize that property in the command so i have an entry control with the binding text that is the text is search text so search text is the public property inside your command view model so just open your command view model here we have a command example and here we have a command view model so the property name is a string type comma uh, search text and the type is a string type property oops that is associated on your just inside your class Okay, just create a uh, string property that is search text and that name is matched with your uh, binding text. Okay, and when we take any uh, text in the text box or entry control, then uh, just visible that search text property inside your pop-up. So here you can take it search text by using interpolation. So search text, oops, search text. Okay, so everything is good. Now, just check this by using uh, run on your Windows machine. So when we enter any text in that uh, entry control like Jacob, so hi Jacob, that is the message that is passed uh, in the view model uh, or you can say in the parameter. So hi Smith, so you can use that property as a parameter uh, in a click event handling. Okay, so the next example is uh, uh, going for the search bar. So here we have a text for the uh, search bar like that. So there is an example of the search bar where we have the command search command parameters and the search command. When we click on the search command uh, icon, uh, that command search will be uh, happening. So the search bar have a name that is inner search. And the search command parameter is the binding with the, the same name that is the inner search. So here we have a binding search command parameter binding source is x reference inner search and a path is the text. So when we write any text in the search bar and click on the search button, then uh, that object as uh, working as a parameter. Okay, so first of all, initiate a command for search command so prop i command right here and change the prop by property to command search okay and initialize the command equals to new command and with the searching okay 
now just create a method okay and uh, in the method you can just copy and paste that code app dot current dot man page dot display alert and in the as a object working as a parameter in the search bar so right here okay so uh, it's a very good example of the command search command search parameters so now you can see the result when we write any text in the search bar and click on the button like write Jacob and click on the button uh, search button that is the display and alert message so this is the command parameter example now the next thing is to uh, add here we have an example of the calculator uh, where we calculate three uh, integer number and the each integer number is associated with the entry control the first second and the result actually you can take result on the label or you can say uh, first of all uh, define the first and second uh, in the uh, view model as a property because these properties are bind with their binding context so uh, it is a first it is a second and it is a result just I want to take a result in the integer form because both properties are integer so Here you can say that the last one is the placeholder that is result and binding with the result. Okay, so now you can take label instead of entry control and text is binding with the result. And the last one button is associated with the command okay so public i command and the command is result command so you can take it here result command the result Okay, both uh, property and the para method are the same name. So just I want to change it uh, that name that is the command result or the uh, result command uh, in the property. So you just change this command result. Okay, so after that you can just make a method for this generate method generate result command result okay now you can see here we have output both for both first and the second so result equals to first and second but you can see that the result is updated but uh, the value will not reflected on your uh, entry control or the you can say the label control because uh, here we are not using a property changed or you can say that uh, I notify change property interface so you can use uh, property change dot foodie package for a notify change property so property change dot foodie and just download it that package and you can see that package will be help for I uh, as working as a I notify property changed interface so uh, after that you have to just add uh, as a notation like add i notify property changed interface add i notify property changed interface after adding as a 
data rotation you will see your result will be display on your label one five and result will be six or display on your uh, label control so thank you guys for watching this video and keep watching all other videos which is related to maui and let's go to design a calculator based on these types of things so first of all uh, we will prepare the design and later on i will uh, do some functioning on the calculator so thank you guys for watching this video and don't forget please subscribe my channel and press the bell icon so 